Okay, here's two German pre-World War II sporting rifles. One is a double barrel 12 gauge. It is a Kessler. The other is a triple barrel drilling. Two double barrel side by side and a 7 millimeter um, Mauser uh, rifle barrel. And that is made by H. Heinrich Barella. And we'll talk about both of them. Um, we'll go with the lesser of the two. The Kessler has some fairly intricate markings on it, all hand engraved, as you can see. Some of the screws are a little bit turned, but you could probably straighten them out, but as old as it is, I'm a little bit skittish on that. Um, and there's markings all up on the top. The safety is in German. As you can see, and left side or the right side, as well as the the underbelly. Um, one sad thing I did have to do is uh, the grip right here. I did have um, a gunsmith remake that. It, it was actually ivory in there, and it had fallen out at one point, and so now it's fake ivory. So I does devalue it a little bit, but in my eyes, still, not many people have a gun like this anyway, so um, for me, it's got great value. Um, I like the cheek rest right here on the stock, so it's obviously for a right hand shooter. And we'll break the barrel down. So you can see I'm trying to hold the camera, I'm sorry. Just some pretty quality workmanship all the way down. You know, I'm doing this in my bathroom because it's the best lighting. But I really like this gun. But this gun isn't the cream of the isn't the cream of the crop. I do like the coloring in it, in the stock, and the rubberized uh, recoil pad. But we'll put this one to the side. Let's talk about the Barella. The well, Barella is just something out of this world. As I said, it's a three-barreled shotgun sporting rifle. The work on it is just unbelievable. I mean, look at the detail. That's the left side. There's the top. I mean, the scroll work goes all the way down. Safety, which you think is a safety, but no, that's shotgun and rifle, and this is what's so cool about it. So right now I'm in shotgun mode, right? But if I flip the switch, watch down the barrel. Did you see that? Iron sights pop up. So you can get a bead. Unbelievable. Let's go to this side of the gun. Show you this scene. And so these are sporting rifles that were made in Europe and a lot of people couldn't afford multiple guns so they would incorporate um, shotgun and rifle into one so that people could hunt a variety of game. Uh, and own one particular weapon. Most didn't or, uh, own an intricate one like this. this. This was really made for your for your upper crust. Look at that elk. All the oak leaves. Just unbelievable. Okay, so here's the safety 
right here. It's on safe. And fire. Let's put it back on safe. And then here you've got your two triggers, one for your rifle, one for your shotgun. This is your rifle, this is your shotgun. Now, bear with me as I break open. The pins on it are just ridiculous. And there's your three barrels. Okay. And everything is... Well, this is let's see if I can find it. There's some of your marks right there, but I don't know if you can see it. If I can focus in on it. Let's try this way. You see that big crown right there? Let's try to focus in. I'm gonna have to come back a little. There's a. It's really hard to focus into that groove. There you go. See that crown? It's right there. Whenever he stamped his guns with a crown, it was made for somebody that was of blue blood. So whoever owned this gun in Europe before it was acquired it had some money or had some influence obviously with the detail oriented so we're gonna put that back and then we're gonna go over here and look at the scope and the scope is in the original leather bag the original leather rings there's no dry rot these rings are Hundred and some years old. All right, so now we'll look at the scope. The scope is a Carl Zeiss scope, serial numbered. There's your um, settings for it. It really doesn't have a whole lot of yardage indications. It does really your windage and elevation, and it's pretty much just one. One, one power. Um, and it's old. It's definitely showing a little bit of age and patina, but you know what I like about it is the fact that it was made for H. Heinrich Barella in Berlin. So this was made specifically for him. Now, if you also notice, it's got these claw mounts on the bottom, right here, and here, okay, so let's zoom out a little bit, as much as I can, and then you look on the gun, you see that, so all I got to do is lock, oops, trying to do this one handed is really difficult. Sorry about that. There we go. Now it locks in. So now you got a scope to use for the rifle. And I suppose you could use it for a shotgun too. But I just think that's just the cat's meow. I mean, a gun like this is worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And it was my grandfather's. It was willed to me. It will never, ever be sold. It's just too priceless. He collected these type of guns. He didn't collect plastic guns like we do. Today, he collected real works of art. And that is what this is. So, there's my Barella. And there's my Kessler. And those are my two favorite guns that I own. I hope you enjoy it.